success in an academic career. What is it? Well, as you know already, there are some books to help you. What They Didn't Teach You in Graduate School, 199 Helpful Hints for Success in Your Academic Career. First of all, life does not stand still. This book alone has changed from 199 helpful hints in 2008 to 299 in February of 2012. Did you notice a change on the book cover? The whiteboard switched to an iPad, and the book concept is being suggested as an ebook. Yes, life does not stand still. So keep a pulse on the outliers in your field. They may not be by chance, and with time, the deviation might become significant. Remember, it is ill-advised to ignore the presence of outliers. This change alone in the medium of communication is bringing new possibility to academics. For example, openness, transparency, engagement, and participation globally. This requires educators to create new learning environments that inspire individuals to harness and leverage this new media environment in shaping our world. An example of this change can be seen in how information is being shared through open educational resources and the use of Creative Commons licensing. The two of these together have brought ease in creation and dissemination of information, which creates more material for collaboration, which feeds back to the loop of creation and dissemination. Success in academics depends on you. At the end of your life, when you look back, what do you want your carbon or digital footprint to look like? Success is not just earning the degree. It is how you apply the resources, tools, and skills you gather throughout your program to achieve your goal. Your success is based on that goal, your goal, and being able to apply and adapt the skills you acquired along the way. There's no correct path but the path that works for you. Believe in yourself. My last suggestion is framed around Stephen Covey's book, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. Habit one, be proactive. Take conscious control over your life. Set realistic goals and work to achieve them. Habit number two, begin with the end in mind. Plan out your journey and think about where you want to be down the road at each mile marker. Habit number three, put first things first. Know your priorities. Don't get distracted. Keep focus. Put your energy where you know your time is well spent. Habit number four, think win-win. Cooperation is valued over competition. You can learn from or contribute to the learning of others. Habit number five, seek first to understand, then to be understood. Understanding others opens doors to new perceptions and new connections. Habit number six, synergize. Combined efforts of a group is greater than the sum of their individual parts. Habit number seven, sharpen the saw. Lifelong learning is an important tool to succeed in a changing society. So back to our question. Success in an academic career. What does it look like to you?